Hello everyone, I am back and today I'm doing a pose inspired look. The category is... started with the actual makeup look so my look today will be inspired by miss electra evangelista electra win tour electra abundance electra everything because i finished the whole thing of pose and she's been in about four different houses okay so this is the the inspo okay i'm actually trying a primer that i've never tried before it's the it's, the, it's pure or per whatever pure i think it's pure but this is the thing this is the product opening babies honestly my entire reason for watching polls was because i kept seeing all of these pictures on pinterest of um electra and i was like oh my god she's fabulous i love all of her looks on my Pinterest and I love her makeup like her makeup to me is like that's like makeup like I, her outfit's beautiful for all that but like her makeup eats it's so creative but it's so like bad video like I like I like all that stuff and that is why I washed it in the first place okay I need some extra hydration like right here because I was sick for the past week and all this part was just it's just dry so I'm using the Fenty Hydrating Primer. All right, third primer, the Elf Mattifying Putty Primer. And I'm still sniffling, I'm still recovering. Like I'm all at my, I think like the final days of recovering. But yeah, when I actually watched, so at first I was like, oh my God, like, before when I saw her on Pinterest, I was like, oh my god, I want to be like Electra. Like her fashion, everything is so nice. And then I watched the show and I was like, oh. She's kind of a biatch, but um, you know what I'm saying? Like, we move, I guess, you know? She kind of had some character development. She wasn't, she was a lot nicer in the end, but like, I was like, oh, maybe they want to be more like Blanca, not like Electra. And I know that I am very, very late to watching it. Like I know it was like 2018, I think when it was like, it came out or something. And I did watch it in 2018, but then I like, I only watched it when I was in New York with my family. Then I stopped because I wasn't in New York. I didn't have like Crave or anything like that before. Now that I do, I jumped, jumped on the bandwagon. This mattifying primer gives me like a white cast. It's like, it really gives sunscreen. I'm using the Huda Beauty Micro Shade Brow Pencil. But yeah, I feel like the show itself was like, it taught me so much about like fashion and stuff, but also it just educated me more on like what people had to go through like during the AIDS with like AIDS and everything. Cause like I had an idea, like I, my mom and everything has told me about the 80s and everything, but like, I feel like Pose really showed me like what people were going through. It also showed me how society viewed like trans women and like gay men and like black trans women compared to, to white trans women and all that stuff like for example it, they found like this cocktail of medications to help with with um hiv and all that stuff but it was only on trial right so then people like they were only giving they only gave it to two people of color and the rest were all white people and that was like insane because it was working so well but they just refused to give it to anyone who was a person of color Meanwhile, there's people dying in the hospital and that's, and they're just like, well, white people also. Like when Pretel got the uh, medication, but Ricky also was dying from AIDS as well. 
and they were trying to get the medication for Ricky as well. They refused to give it to another person of color. They already gave it to Blanca and Pretel, but they didn't give it to Ricky. Even though it was working so well. So Pretel ended up giving Ricky his medication and then killing himself because of that. Like, no, I, that was like, I had to remind myself that Billy Porter was still alive. Like, he's still alive. I need to like, remember that, you know, it's okay. Billy. He's not dead, like he's good, you know, like it's just that it, it was just a TV show. I'm using the uh, MAC 24 hour concealer in NC50. Yeah, I was watching that the entire time while I was sick. Like, I finished all three seasons so fast. Also, I found it so funny every time Candy went on stage or, or went to perform. Because it was like... Every time she got up there, she embarrassed herself. It was so, it was, it was bad. It was pretty bad. I felt bad for her. I need to blow my nose. I'm just gonna take some of my Fenty matchsticks in espresso. And I'm just gonna take some of it and just blend out the center right here. It adds some more definition to the face. I don't like just having one Freaking dark or sorry light line right there. And I put that in the eyebrow In the eyebrow In the eyebrow But yeah, I love 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 that show. Okay Also one size powder dark deep all my makeup stuff is so dirty like oh my god like But it just gets put in my cart and then everything else just mixes together and I just can't keep it like all looking sharp all the time I'm using the Juvia's Place Bronzing Palette in Dark. I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Masquerade Palette. Midnight Masquerade. Using the brown shade. Right in the crease. What? What? Mm. I what's wrong with you? Okay, so it's kind of feathering out like this. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brown shade with the smaller brush to get more into that crease. Honestly, in the end, I wanna be like, I wanna have the fashion of Electra, but the heart of Blanca. I have a lot more Electra makeup looks to try. Also, I need some Blanca, cause I saw like, I feel like Blanca's like last season, like season three looks were really good. For the most part, she used to just wear like natural makeup, like natural matte lip, like nude matte lip, nothing crazy. I'm going to use the purple shade in the um, Morphe Pride palette. Do you have an eyelash? Like, I'm not fancy with that. I'm using the same small brush, by the way. Oh, I love this purple. Stop. Also, I was so confused when um, Pray Tell and Ricky suddenly started being together. I was like, excuse me? When did that occur? Were you not with Damon? And then all of a sudden it was like, uh, I like daddies. I'm like, wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> Pause. When? I'm guessing it's because the like Damon's act, actual actor, I think he had to leave. So maybe that's why they're like, oh, let's still give Ricky the, the love interest. But like, that was so confusing to me. I feel like I need a little bit of like black to deepen it a little bit. So I'm going to mix the black and the purple together. I'm not using a lot of black, just like a dab. Also, I feel like people wonder like, where the hell am I even going with makeup like this? Babe, I'm going to school. Do you think I care about looking like a basic? You know? 
Oh, I don't care if I stand out. I don't care. Matter of fact, if I stand out, thank you very much. I like being extra, and I think that if you want to be extra, don't worry about what other people are going to think. They're going to think that you are a baddie. Don't worry about it. Like, literally, shh. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. Well, I don't know what you want to say. I don't know what you want to say. No one wants to hear anything like that. Shut up. It's in the pink one in the palette. Also, I don't want to really like swear like crazy on my YouTube because I just feel like I have family on here. But at the same time, like if I ever swear, like know that I'm literally 20 years old. <laughs> I'm not a kid. I am very much an adult. Okay, I'm going to use my Shade by Shan eyeliner, gel eyeliner. I want to make sure it's very close to the lash line. And then I need to just connect the two. I think I'm gonna finish the whole face. Then I'm gonna come back and I have to do like the blush and all of the lips and everything so that we can speed up the process a little bit more. So I'll be right back. Okay, so since I did my concealer, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Blush in Lucky because it's pink. What's so gonna go with the look? I feel like Electra's blush and everything is like pink but like not pink at the same time like i don't know how to explain it but i like my blush pink also i feel like electra looks so similar to my grand to my um nana it's crazy i'm like are we related <laughs> Cause, I mean she is from Trinidad so I'm like I'm, I'm from like I'm not from but like my background is Jamaican but I'm like you know somewhere along the line maybe there was some relation you know you never know maybe Miss, Miss Electra okay, I'm gonna set my face using the one size setting powder Juvia's Place bronzing palette Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna go back in with the Shade by Shan eyeliner and the waterline. I'm gonna use the new By Nature mascara by Nature. I am a little bit rushing right now because your girly has to take the bus to school. Okay, for blush, I think I need to mix. So I'm gonna take the pink from here and mix it with Raisin from MAC. Okay, so she has a bit like of a purple liner right here. So I'm gonna use these colors in the MAC palette. The Plumless palette, I guess. To line my lips. I'm gonna use the darkest color in it to just add more to the center. And then for the pink part of the lip, I'm going to use Frenda by MAC. Ooh, I'm going to actually add some Vino to the end from MAC as well. For highlighter, I'm using the Beauty J Jasmine, sorry. The Beauty Jasmine highlighter. So what it looks like. And Electra seems to really like highlighter. I'll come back with the finished look. And this is the finished look. I just sprayed some fix plus on top because it gotta last all day, okay? Uh, so yeah, this is the look. Work. Oh! Of a lecture of abundance, lecture of winter, lecture of evangelista, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I gotta really go to right now, so like. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Follow all my social medias. And yeah, guys, goodbye.